Hey there. Have you ever looked at a photo in a magazine or online and just thought the skin tones look dampened or muted somehow compared to the rest of the photo? All the other colours look fantastic, but just the skin tones on the face, on the neck, on the hands, whatever, are just uh, desaturated or de-vibranced. Um, but you've tried to do it and you can't quite figure out how. Well, I'm going to show you one process um, that I use quite often to do this and it's super simple, it's going to save you a load of time and it's really uh, satisfying to be able to just get that look straight out. So let's open up Photoshop. Okay, so here I've got a photo loaded up. This is my very attractive brother-in-law and I was lighting him using a uh, circular fluorescent tube light that I made and the reason I use this is because it, it first of all gives awesome catch lights in his eyes and then secondly it just gives this beautiful diffuse glow over the face so it's fantastic for headshots or beauty shots. Uh, now the issue here is that it's also highlighting a lot of the red tones that are in his face which you could conceal with makeup if you had makeup applied but because we didn't it highlights these and a lot of the time if you're shooting out in you know, out in the wilderness or whatever, you're you're not necessarily going to have a makeup artist with you or your subject isn't going to have makeup applied. And if you want to get rid of these tones of red that are coming through to make it look slightly more like a, a slightly desaturated magazine publish, then uh, there's a very simple way to do it. So, in Photoshop, if we run up here, uh, let's first of all make a copy of the layer uh, with Command J or Control J. And then run up to filters and open it in camera roll filter. This is going to pop up this camera roll uh, window. And if we wander along all the way over to camera calibration, here you've got red primary, hue and saturation. All we're going to do is drop the saturation by 30 or maybe 40 and hit OK. There you go. That's your magazine shot. No, I'm joking. So next up, what we're going to do is add a bit of contrast to that. Let's make another copy of that layer and then head up over here to the black and white adjustment layer. Add that there. And then what we want to do is hit this guy here. And what's going to happen is it's only going to apply that adjustment layer to layer one copy instead of applying it to every single thing that's underneath it. So now we can go through and adjust the uh, you know, the contrast in the black. So we don't want it to add too much contrast on his normal uh, sort of front skin. We want it to be more on the sides and on everything that's dark. So let's drag his yellows down a bit and then the blues up a touch and the reds up a touch, like so. Okay, and then next up, we're just gonna take this layer and apply it in a soft light. Now that's overkill contrast. So we're just going to drag the opacity down a touch. Down all the way maybe to 15%. Is that is that too little? Yeah, it's a little bit too little. Let's make it 20. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now if we look at the before and after, oh, that is when we brought the picture in, that is the reds down, contrast up stylization, which I think just looks, it looks fantastic. It looks far more like what you'd see in a magazine or on an advert online. It's just, uh, it, I don't know what to call it. It's just awesome. And by the way, you can just as easily achieve this in Lightroom. Uh, if you head over to Lightroom, open the picture that you want to do up in Lightroom, uh, and then close your basic tab and head down to camera calibration, the last tab. Uh, again, it's rarely used and it's a shame because you can do awesome stuff with it. So let's enter the same value, minus 40, because it's running on the same platform anyway. So uh, minus 40, and then if we head back up to basic, uh, what we're gonna wanna do is add a touch of contrast, say 15. And then let's bring the whites up by 10. And, uh, oh, no, wrong button. 
and bring the blacks down to minus 10. And that is pretty good as well, before and after. I think possibly could actually do the reds a tiny bit more, or a tiny bit less, I mean, let's say minus 50, and then use my soft blacks uh, preset, which is, all it's doing is that in the tone curve. Um, it's just bringing the blacks up a touch there so that you can see here and here it's not completely crushed death black it's a sort of like dark grey so there you go that is it thanks for watching I hope you found this tutorial useful and you probably saw an ad at the beginning or at the end you will see an ad after this and if you were to click it it would probably generate a few pennies for me I couldn't possibly ask you to but if you did happen to, I guess that would be pretty cool.